What's up everybody, Thompson Coin and Stamp here, and tonight I just want to go over some of the main reasons I really enjoy junk silver, also known as constitutional silver. It's going to be 90% silver coins that were minted in 1964 and before, that's going to be half dollars, quarters, and dimes. Oh, I love that sound. You know, some of the main reasons I really enjoy constitutional silver is because it's already recognized as money. People may not know or trust, you know, a buffalo round or something like that, but they already know what a quarter is. It takes a dollar forty in any 90% silver to make one troy ounce of silver. Let's show some of these here. 1959. Another reason I really like it is you can find it in your pocket change or you know get it from bank rolls when you go to the bank. People turn in junk silver all the time not knowing what they've got. A silver quarter right now goes for about eight dollars. A silver half dollar I think is about twelve to fifteen. And there's another reason. There's a history behind all of these coins. They've been in people's pockets. You know, what did they buy? You know, where was it spent? And from who? Was there any famous people? Gotta love a Wing Liberty, or also known as a Mercury Dime. So all Mercs there. I love the sound. Hopefully you can hear that. Silver sounds different when you drop it like that. We'll drop all those there. And another reason is they're not being made anymore. 1964 and before for your 90%. Uh, 1965 through 1970 was 40%. And there are some special mint uh, sets or uh, proof sets that are still 40%. Walking Liberty. Get Benjamin here. So Ben Franklin. I do love a good Benji. Here's one of these proof sets here. Here's a bicentennial proof set. And these are 40% silver. And another reason is they're just plain fun. As you've seen or heard me here so far, I've just been chinging them. I love the sound of silver dropping on itself. It just sounds great. And, you know, it's it's been used. It's been, you know, used as currency and everything like that. So, you know, it's unless you find some mint state ones or a proof, you know, kind of like this, there's no worries about just, you know, kind of dropping these together and get some of these older coins like that I don't know if you can hear the cows outside <laughs> but that's just a couple of reasons I really like junk silver or constitutional silver and it's, like I said it's just plain fun um, I love pinging them I don't have my pinger up here right now and you know my kids they love finding them in the coin roll hunts. There's nothing like seeing their eyes light up when they open up a roll of coins and there's 90% silver sticking out. I don't know if you can see the edge of that. This is blast white. When you open up a roll of coins, you see that, you know, more than likely you've got 90% silver. Now there is, you know, other silver. Like I said, the 1965 through 1970 is 40%. And see how they're a little bit darker on the rim compared to some of the 90s. Not much, though. You can still tell these versus clad coins when you're pulling them out of a roll. Well, I hope everybody learned a little bit of something here. I also want to give a shout out to all the guys over there at the Valvoline. Uh, they've been watching my channel, and uh, I sure do appreciate it. So thank you, guys. Make sure y'all follow us on all of our platforms, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Rumble, and Facebook. And we also have a local ch channel. I sure do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, because we've always got more things coming. I should have some half dollars.
coming here soon. I was supposed to get them in today, but the bank didn't get them ordered. So hopefully I'll have some in Thursday or Friday. Until then, Thompson Corn and Stamp, out.